Hello again, this is me, Seth. Today I'm going to show you LaunchBar, which is an, uh, an application launcher for the Mac. Um, the reason why I've chosen uh, LaunchBar this time is you may be already know that uh, I'm a Quicksilver user, that I was a Quicksilver user in the past, but in my opinion, uh, Quicksilver seems to be dying slowly, but it dies anyway. Um, First of all, first, uh, the original programmer announced that he stops uh, developing Quicksilver and released it as an open source project. Uh, now I've attended the mailing list on the web and even the programmers who did the programming in, in the meantime say that it's, it would be better to... Uh, use another application launcher or something else. So, I thought, well, let's give LaunchBar a try, uh, even that uh, uh, Butler is a really cool application, but the new, the next Butler, uh, since the next Butler isn't out, I have to stick with uh, LaunchBar. So, what's LaunchBar? I can show you. It's, uh, it's sitting in the menu bar. It's 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 much clearer than um, Quicksilver is. It doesn't get as much in the way as Quicksilver does. And it uses a little less memory, a lot less memory in my, my case. In my case, Quicksilver has used about 50 megabytes or something like that. And uh, LaunchBar uses six or so. Um, the next thing you realize is that launch bar has no three panes. So when I enter desk and hit tab, I don't get another um, another pane. So this is one difference. The next difference is these this list scrolls a little different than most of the other uh, lists. So the selection scrolls instead of the list here. Um, yeah, it seems to be a little faster than uh, Quicksilver, but may, that may be dif differ from machine to machine. Um, anyway, this is the first in the set of screencasts, and in this set I'm going to show you file operations and file browsing. So. Uh, what's what's up with file browsing? You can bring up a uh, launch bar with, a sh with, with with your shortcut. It's in my case, it's command space, and you can just enter some uh, letters like desk. I already like I already <laughs> entered, and when you um, press the left arrow key or the right arrow key, you can move into that folder or you can out move out that folder, and you can move around your system inside some library or something like that. If you want to open a folder, just hit command return and your you, the file will open in uh, the finder. Uh, what you can do with the thing, with the uh, selected object, comes up when you hit, uh, when you click with the mouse uh, right beside the selected object. So you can open it, you can open folder con contents, uh, you can send it to Showing Finder, with the, which I did uh, in, uh, lastly. Uh, showing Current Finder window, copy, and blah, blah, blah. So this is very cool. So just move a, a little more around in, on the system. You can, when you hold down the Option key, you can access a folder and all the hidden items are shown. Like in my case, I have a folder which is called Hidden Desk uh, on the desktop. And inside that one, I have some files which I have normally on my desktop, which are currently working, which I am currently currently working on. Um, one cool thing about Quick uh, Quicksilver, sorry, LaunchBar is that it already supports uh, Quick Look. So when you want to Quick Look a file, you just hint space, and it comes up like my uh, child picture here. Very funny, haha, -ha. and. 
you can instantly open it. So uh, let's say I want to open this folder. I just hit return and it opens in the in, in finder. Or you can open it or you, or you can bring your selected file to uh, launch bar with instant open, which you can up bring up with command space and hold down the space key until you hear the sound. And you can see in that this icon, this little orange icon here shows, you have instant send open and you can instantly send it to somewhere else. Um, or in my case, I want to just grab it from the finder. So I select it in the finder, go to launch bar, hit command G. Now it's selected and when I want to open it, I just hit, a, hit return and there it is. It's empty. <laughs> okay, so let's move this uh, thing around on the, on, the, on the system. So let's say I want to move it inside my hidden folder. I just hit tab, desk, alt, right arrow, go inside that hidden folder or if I want to move it inside the folder, I can just select it here. And now I can drag it to hidden desk and when I hit enter now, I get a little menu. What I can do with this file, I can make a layers, hard links, symbolic links, and I can move it and copy it. But when I press, um, let's say, oh, the uh, option key, I can copy it to that folder. When I hit command key, I can move it, control symbolic, lit, uh, symbolic link absolute, uh, control option relative link, shift control hard link, and I can have the, the whole menu just by hitting some uh, modifier keys. So I want to move it. Command, return, and there it goes. You can see that the um, folder has actually changed here. So let's move it back to the desktop again. There it is. Uh, I can rename it here by pressing Shift, Command, R. can duplicate it, get info, move it to the trash, and things like that. Or I can access the whole services menu here, which is very cool uh, too. Um, so, I think I've covered already a lot in this screencast. I hope you can you come back in the next time when I'm going to show you some other stuff about launch bar. It only costs about um, 24 euros here in Europe. Haha, <laughs> I think that it's uh, 30 bucks in, in dollar. Uh, it's free until uh, in the beta phase. You can download it here and just come back the next screencast. See ya!